So to complete the set, we've got the Irish team out. I'm a little bit later reacting to this one, so apologies. But there is only one story in town, and that is Jamie Osborne making his debut at fullback. He has played there in the past in his younger days, but during his time with Leinster senior team, he's only played there a couple of times, I believe, and generally he is a centre. He's very versatile, he can take the ball up, he's got good feet, he's got a good passing game, so he could play anywhere in the back line, you would say, with his skill set, but why at 15? So one theory could be, and this is of course tongue-in-cheek, uh, Rosie Erasmus has been having fun naming the Irish team, kind of saying, I know what you're going to do. And did Farrell just say, aha, you didn't know what I'm going to do. And he put that one in there. No, probably not, but still quite good fun because we thought it was going to be Frawley because he's you know, strong, good kicker. You know, he's played there a bit as well. Or it could be O'Brien, who's played a lot of fullback in the back three, very versatile. So both of those will feel very hard done by, although for all he's on the bench, it looks like he's covering 10 and 15, and O'Brien's not in there at all. So O'Brien's definitely going to be sitting there going, hang on, how come he has jumped over me, if you like? Is it because Osborne is the next best 15? No, I don't think it is, because, of course, you haven't had the evidence to say that. I think it's more the fact that he is a young player with a lot of talent, that Farrell wants to get into the team, get some experience, and you've got the three guys who are just not going to relinquish their spots, Aki Henshaw and Ring Rose there are the three to pick from. So Osborne wasn't going to get a look in unless he played somewhere like 15 and show he's versatile. Hopefully it goes better than when Henshaw played 15. That was a disaster. Is it the best shout? I'm not so sure. It's a definite roll of the die. South Africa would be testing him absolutely. So I think it's more a fact of getting a talented player in there. He's 22, although he's been around Leinster for a while now. And, you know, he's going to break through at some point. Does he wait until one of those three centres are injured or they're too old to play? Well, no, Farrell's getting him in now. So anyway, let's have a look at the rest of the team because it's mainly as expected. The front row Porter Sheehan Furlong was always going to be the case in Kelleher, Healy, Bielham on the bench. That's their best six front rowers, as good as they can be, which is great because, of course, South Africa are amazing in the front row. What a battle that first scrum is going to be. Can Ireland get the ball in and away with a solid scrum on their own ball? And can they withstand the surge on the South Africa ball? McCarthy and Tigburn are the preferred pairing there. The physical McCarthy, the all-round skills of Tigburn, his lines, and James Ryan looks like he is the bench second row at the moment. So a good little fight between those three. And the back row is the tried and tested. Peter Amani as the captain, Josh van der Fleer and Caelan Doris. When is Peter Amani's international career going to end? Well, not yet is the answer. We will see. Amani probably is covering open side as well because on the bench you've got the big loping Ryan Baird who probably is going to come on and play six. So that's probably going to be the way it goes if they need to replace Josh van der Fleer. Josh van der Fleer will probably go the whole game, to be fair. They're not doing a Lencer and reserving Josh van der Fleer on the bench for later in the game. and That didn't work. Doris, they've all got a point to prove against South Africa, that is for sure. So it's the best pack they could possibly put out with the best replacement. So that's good news for Ireland going toe-to-toe -to -toe with those humongous South African forwards. Then at nine, it's interesting. I thought they would go Casey, even though Murray's there as the experienced man. Gibson Park isn't available, so you could have made a case for Murray starting because he's got that experience. But they like the tempo, and the closest tempo nine they've got is Craig Casey, but a massive test for him. Can he step up and show, I can do it as first choice nine, and Murray coming on if needed. Probably will come on for a bit, to be fair, at the end anyway. Crowley is their first choice 10, another big test for him. He looked good in the Six Nations, racking up caps now about 14, so good for him. Can he have a big game, a big series in South Africa to cement his place? You'd think so. And then the centres, Bundyaki was always going to be 12. Generally, when Ringrose is fit, and it's a choice between Ringrose and Henshaw, I always go for Ringrose. They're going for Henshaw because he's been playing more recently and he's in great form, so fair enough. But I still would have gone Ringrose, I think, to start. So let me know if you think that's a mistake to get Ringrose in there. So good in defence, just a natural 13. Henshaw, you know, no uh, slouch at all, but still not quite sure about that. Nash, 
and low are the wingers. Nash had a good showing in the Six Nations. I suggested he was going to play there, and he does. And there's no obvious winger on the bench, so they're probably going to go the distance. If they need an extra winger, I guess it's going to be Ring Rose dropping in there. But anyway, Nash and uh, Lowe are probably going to go the distance, and Osborne, like I said, at 15. Connor Murray covering nine. Frawley is 10 and 15 replacement, and Ring Rose outside centre and emergency winger. So it's a big ask for Osborne to get his international debut at an unusual position against South Africa in South Africa. That's such a tough one. Do you think it's the wrong decision? Well, at the moment, I say it's a risk. If it goes well, you'd say it's genius. If it goes badly, you'd say, well, you've ruined the debut of a young player and maybe shot their confidence, etc. So interesting, pretty much as strong as they could be with a few interesting choices. Casey and Osborne, lots to prove. Let me know what you think of that selection down below and I'll catch you next time.